he pressed the bell. Far away in a back room, he heard it ringing. And then, at once, it must have been at once because he hadn't even had time to take his finger from the bell button, the door swung open and a woman was standing there. Normally, you ring the bell and you have at least a half minute's wait before the door opens. But this dame was like a jack-in-the-box. He pressed the bell and out she popped. It made him jump. She was about 45 or 50 years old and the moment she saw him, she gave him a warm, welcoming smile. Please come in, she said pleasantly. She stepped aside, holding the door wide open, and Billy found himself automatically starting forward into the house. The compulsion, or more accurately, the desire to follow after her into that house, was extraordinarily strong. I saw the notice in the window, he said, holding himself back. Yes, I know. I was wondering about a room. It's all ready for you, my dear, she said. She had a round pink face and very gentle blue eyes. I was on my way to the Bell and Dragon, Billy told her, but the notice in your window just happened to catch my eye. My dear boy, she said, why don't you come in out of the cold? <laughs>